Welcome to Dwayne's World. It's me, Dwayne, the booze and blogger, coming at you live from sunny Merrickville. Woohoo! Sitting here in my home studio, drinking a few brewskis, having a good time, thinking, what is there to talk about today? So, it's on Facebook, of course. This is where I get all my news. I mean, I click the news story, so I read the news. I don't just get news from other people on Facebook. But, but yeah, so... I read a story where these two guys in the UK grabbed raw squirrels and went and ate them in front of a vegan stall at a farmer's market and caused quite a kerfuffle. Holy fuck, I can't believe I said kerfuffle. Anyways, they caused quite a stir. People were crying, kids were crying, people were all upset because these guys were eating, you know, fucking uncooked uncooked squirrels that's pretty fucking gross but would the same thing happen would the same thing happen if uh they had walked up eating steak or eating chicken or having a chicken burger or having a fucking you know, just a fucking big, sloppy, greasy fucking, you know, those burgers where you take a bite and it rolls down your fucking arms and your chin. And, well, the same shit happen if they, if they, uh, were eating one of those instead of a live, or sorry, not a live, a dead squirrel. Oh, God. And anyways, they got fucking fine pretty heavily too. Like one guy was like, I think 350 bucks. Another one was 650 bucks. It said they were a nuisance. Um, now, would that happen here? I don't. I'm not sure um, because I've never seen the the reverse of it. Um, last year there was a there was a restaurant in Toronto called Antlers, and uh, they serve like deer meat and live. Well, not live, but I mean they you know fresh food from field to. Field the plate or whatever the fuck you call it. And uh, there were all kinds of fucking controversies. People standing there protesting. Um, people wanting to go into the restaurant have to walk by these fucking arsehole vegans that wouldn't get out of the way. They were doing little skits using fucking people dressed up as cows and shit. It was fucking ridiculous. But I don't ever remember somebody getting charged. I wonder if that would happen, though, if uh, it happened the opposite way, that if uh, it was a vegan restaurant and there are a whole bunch of meat-eating people standing out front protesting um, or walking, you know, just standing in front eating fucking big sloppy burgers, like, you know, the kind you get at Five Guys. They're fucking amazing. Yeah, there's another shout-out to Five Guys. I love their burgers. Um, I even love them better than that. Uh, burger place in Ottawa that has the fucking 101 goddamn types of burger or whatever. I fuck. Anyways, I digress. Would it be different? Because I think people, people like vegans have it a little easier. Like, I mean, because it's a new fad. People are okay with it, and they're not as uptight about it. Um, but, I mean, I think if I owned a restaurant and I had a bunch of fucking grass-eating motherfuckers protest in my restaurant, I think I'd do everything I could. I mean, the, the owner was awesome. One day he skinned a deer right in, like, in the front window and chopped it and prepared it and stuff. And that was fucking awesome because, you know what, those cocksuckers shouldn't be able to fuck up his business but i yeah i do think the assholes in the uk went a little far by using fucking uncooked squirrel because who in the fuck is going to eat that unless maybe you're from the south like and you're on that fucking gator hunter show or whatever in the fuck it was called you can't, swamp people couldn't understand a word they said oh how about this how about you eat what you want to eat, and I'll eat what I want to eat. And don't you fucking give me shit for what I want to eat. I won't give you shit for what you want to eat. I like 
Chinese food. I like fucking pizza. I love wings. I love burritos. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and eat grass and soy and all these other things. Oh, by the way, I read this, uh, another article saying that the food that they find that's in those no meat burgers or whatever the fuck they're called. Get this, the ingredients are what they find in fucking dog food. So, fucking, uh, the people who are eating these fucking meatless burgers are eating fucking dog food, with the exception of the colorings and stuff. So, yeah, you fucking go right ahead, vegans. You can eat whatever the fuck you want. As long as I don't run out of dog food for my dog, then you guys can eat whatever you want, and I'll eat whatever I want, and everybody else should too. Anyway, this is Dwayne for Dwayne's World. Have yourselves a great week. See you next week. Uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would like to get some more subscribers if that's possible. And one more thing. Don't be a fucking asshole!